Have a look at this laparoscopic image. Do you know what's going on? We can see a very nice left ovary and tube, but on the right, the ovary is enlarged, containing an ovarian cyst, and the tube is twisted. This is called ovarian torsion. Torsion of the ovary, tube, or both is a gynae emergency. It usually occurs in the presence of an ovarian cyst, making the ovary heavier and more likely to twist on itself. We're going to cover everything you need to know about ovarian torsion. Starting off with how this presents. These patients typically present with severe abdo and pelvic pain. Nausea and vomiting is a predominant feature, present in 85% of patients. They may have fever, and they might also be tachycardic. On examination, they will have generalized abdominal tenderness, with guarding and rebound tenderness localized to one side. And on a bimanual vaginal examination, they will typically have cervical excitation and adnexal tenderness. You might also palpate the adnexal mass. Now, you might have noticed that these symptoms are pretty common in many other conditions making the diagnosis of ovarian torsion a tricky one sometimes. A differential diagnosis you need to keep in mind includes pelvic inflammatory disease, PID, appendicitis, a functional ovarian cyst, such as a hemorrhagic cyst, which causes pain of sudden onset, ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, OHSS. These patients would have had an ovulation induction, which is a form of fertility treatment fibroid torsion, and renal colic. Of course, to help us navigate through this differential diagnosis, besides the history and examination, we have our investigations to help us. As we all know, ultrasound is the bread and butter of a gynecologist. On ultrasound, we notice an enlarged anidematous ovary, as we can see in this image here. Torted ovaries tend to have follicles pushed to the periphery. A whirlpool sign can sometimes also be identified with color Doppler, which is portraying the twisted pedicle. Inflammatory markers will usually also be raised, and in some cases, especially if the diagnosis is unclear, we can perform a CT or MRI scan. So how do we treat these patients? In young women, we try to opt for a conservative approach and merely detour to the ovary. Of course, this can only be done if minimal damage has occurred to the ovary and tube. If damaged, then these should be removed, either with an oophorectomy or a salpingo oophorectomy. In cases of recurrent ovarian torsion, we may opt to perform a oophoropexy, where we stitch the ovary to the pelvic sidewall or the back of the uterus, keeping it in place and preventing it from twisting again. In this image, we can see that the superficial bite has been taken from the pelvic sidewall and from the ovary. This will be tied, keeping the ovary in place. That's about it for ovarian torsion. I hope you found this helpful. Like and subscribe and leave a comment with which video you'd like me to create next.